I'm leaving you, Harvey. What? I'm going to work for Lewis. This season, Harvey's become a little bit untethered. As much as we see Harvey's confidence in these last four seasons, we're also gonna see him sort of unwind. He is a sort of superhero lawyer, if you will. He's a guy who's so on top of everything, so on point, and he wins every case, and he can close any deal. But there's a lot of voices in his head, and I think those voices are starting to multiply. Do you know how hard it is for me to swallow my pride and come over here? Do you have any idea how hard it is for me to say no to you? I'm just asking you for one little thing. No, Harvey. Oh, please. I'm sorry, Harvey, you're on your own. Some people that feel that they need to be perfect, um, there's a lot going on in their brains. You know, Harvey's going through these abandonment issues. There's a lot of things that have happened to him. Mike leaving and working for the investment banker was a pretty big deal for Harvey. Harvey's not Harvey without Mike. Mike could go work somewhere else. And with Donna leaving him for Lewis, it's like all these people leaving him is, I think, pretty scary for him. I hear you're interviewing replacements this morning. I am. That's good. It is. What can Harvey do to get Donna back? I mean, you know, their relationship is so complicated. Um, that's what makes it really interesting. And Jessica, who is pretty grounded and has known Harvey for a while, she can really confront him on his issues, which is great. But having that mirror for Harvey, scares me even more. I don't know what's going on between you and Donna, but I do know you chose not to let me in on it, so I'm gonna let you in on this. If you can't figure out a way, I will. Uh, I think it's really challenging for the character, and I think it's great for me to play him, because after people see the, this first episode, they're just gonna be like, oh man, Harvey's going down a spiral. You know, he's just going down. It's gonna be exciting, I think, to see him you know, conquers demons. What's your karaoke go-to? Proud Mary. What is Jessica Pearson's karaoke go-to? She doesn't do karaoke. <laughs> What's something that you and Jessica have in common? Shoe size. What's your favorite scene on Suits that you weren't in? Probably one of those ridiculous love scenes with um, Lewis and Sheila's ass. <laughs>